all right guys so yeah my face looks a mess i've been on a video shoot for the whole day today and yeah i had li i have lipstick here because i was eating chicken and i was like right to the chicken and my lip like touched there and i have this one pimple so i'm going to it's not really a rant i'm going to remove my makeup while talking to you and i'm using just baby wipes and baby oil and learned this trick from thomas adriana she used baby wipes and, and um, baby oil to remove her heavy makeup and for me it works too and then after i remove my heavy makeup then i wait a while and then i use um the regime the acne regime that i did in my haul in my <sighs> haul video um right so anyway so I don't, know if, I don't know how much of you know this, but I do promotions, right? I'm going to do promotions on the side. And um, actually got into it because of my auntie. But not my real auntie, but like my church auntie. But we just call him auntie um, at church. So I got into it because of her. So I'm known for my makeup. Um, my makeup and my hair. And my nails. I'm known for always, always looking, you know like that so i had a promotion and when i got there the lady who was a supervisor my auntie another lady who um was the boss for the day she was like um why your hair look like that and i had my hair wrapped um no the wrappers are always in the nice classy wrap i had the one where i wrapped to the side and then i put it over here i had that on in and she's like you know um what's wrong with my hair i'm like nothing then she goes, where's your wig? And I was like, it's hot. I didn't want to wear my wig, so I just wrapped my hair. It was very neatly wrapped. I know that um, that company um, really prides, excuse me, something fell. It really prides itself in, you know, appearance. You know what I mean? So um, I always try to look my best. So I had this hair style in. I need to pull up now, but I had this hair style under my wrap that i had in but i wasn't really comfortable because i'm not used to this hairstyle as yet so i wasn't really comfortable wearing it out so i wrapped my hair so she asked me where is my wig and i was like when i was getting when i was getting ready you guys it was really really hot all right it was extremely hot by the way this is just a second wipe so i've only used one two so it was really really hot so i had to take off my wig so i didn't want to wear it because it was hot so I explained that to her and she's like, but you're going to work in AC. I'm like, yeah, but my house don't have AC though and I have to get ready in my house. And it was really hot. So um, she made fun of my hair. Basically, she um, said I look like I come to beat drum. And she said, um, I need to go in the bathroom and look at what I look like. And it was just really hurtful. And I was I was one day fresh off of my hairstyle, which I wasn't really comfortable with. I love it, I love how it looks, but it's I'm just not used to it as yet. So I was very uncomfortable with it. Zimmy and my husband is my best friend. And I told my husband what was happening and he was really upset. Cause he knows how I feel emotionally about my hair and then to have somebody who don't know crap about why it is that I couldn't wear my weave or whatever, you know, would treat me like that. So then immediately I went into, is this a psychological thing? Is that, that's pretty. That is pretty. I don't care how worried you want to cut it. If you don't have any long hair, you're ugly. And that's just it. So, well, that's what people would not want to think. Let me not say that. Can I tell my energy is low? Because, I mean, this happened when? A day ago? Two days ago? And I was just really surprised at, by it. I just... My like homegirl asked me, where's my wig? Where's the wig? And I was like, I, it was hot, so I didn't wear it. You're going to, and then she's like, tomorrow, you make sure you wear your wig tomorrow, make sure you wear your wig tomorrow. I'm thinking, homie, I'm not even going to show tomorrow. But thank God, nature, wink, wink, for all my girls out there, stepped in and I really couldn't make it because the promotion that I was doing, would I would have to stand for five hours for the promotion that I was doing promotion that i was doing so thank god for nature and the holy ghost because i was not about to show up the next day i was just furious and um excuse me i just 
If I feel like wearing my freaking wig, I'm going to wear my wig. If I don't feel like wearing it, nobody, nobody is going to make me put my wig on. Excuse me? What you say? What? Wait, hmm? Eh? What you say? If I don't feel like wearing my wigs, I won't wear my wig. As much as I'm not really, as much as I don't really like this hairstyle on me, or as much as I'm not used to it, let me say that. As much as I'm not used to this hairstyle as yet, you can't come tell me about pull it out. Pull out what? What you say? No. No, you. So that did really lick me for six. I'm not lying. That did lick me because it's not like we'll have that. Oh, and she was laughing, you know, so it was supposed to be a joke. You look like a comfy beat drum. <laughs> it is for good looking at the mirror and look at what she look like. <laughs> it was meant to be funny. But of course, I didn't find that funny. It just wasn't funny to me. So it's just, you know, a little observation. You have to be you. And you have to be comfortable with you. Granted, I wasn't comfortable with how my hair was looking. But I promise you, I was going to show up the next day with my hair like this. So I would have probably had to be sent home. You see me? And this is, this is, this is, this is, that's another reason why I don't want to work for people. It's another reason why I really chose to be an entrepreneur. Because... It's like I make my own rules. You know what I mean? It's, it's freer. And for the line of work that I'm in, makeup artistry and the music, they can't tell me how to dress. I tell me how to do my makeup. What do you say? My makeup? What do you say? My makeup too heavy? Don't look. What do you say? Talking on my good ears. Talking on my good ears. What do you say? You can't tell me that. You can't tell me so it's not really a rant. I'm just really tired. I had a video shoot today, which went amazing for IV Wed. And I have a vlog. I filmed some of it. Couldn't film all of it, but I filmed some of it. So, yeah. And guys, don't comment like, oh, it's okay. Da, da, da. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm just saying at that time, that threw me for a loop. And if you have any um, hair stories, you know, with transitioning and people saying, you know, basically that you're ugly, go ahead. Share it below. And let's just start a discussion, post a video response, talk to me. I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear what you went through. I want to hear how you handled it because I've never stuck to gone natural before. It's the first time in my life I'm sticking to being natural for the rest of my life. First time. First time. And granted, I'm still very dependent on my wigs because I'm uncomfortable. So I'm still very, very dependent on my wigs. But let me know what you guys, you know, you guys' story, you guys' testimony, what you do, my husband is a major support. Major. And my husband is actually one of the persons who is behind me 100%. Yeah, baby, go natural. Yeah, baby, great. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're Because <laughs> he's he's, his hair is natural too. And his hair is long and thick and big. So, um, you know, you know, he thinks it's going to look cute when we're walking on the road together with our big hair and stuff. So, I think it's going to look cute too. So, yeah, but the main reason why I chose to go natural is because I just love the look of big afro. It's not like I wanted my hair to get healthy and strong. No, I just love the look of a really big afro and I got it. So, um, it's very random, but let's talk about my face, right? So, my face is itching me so bad. Okay. So, um, you see how this side is clearing up? Let me see if it's makeup. Because in camera, it looks... What's the matter? In camera, it looks very clear. And I refuse to believe that that's how clear my face is. I'm not going to believe it. It's a trick. What? So not that much coming off. Wow. Okay, so you see my face is clearing up. And what you cleared up my face was um, the proactive started it and the regime that I showed you guys, the regime is finishing it up. And I believe it's um, this, the treatment. And this is just, it's just benzoyl peroxide 2.5 and the purpose is acne treatment. So I believe this is what's causing like, the major change or whatever because... Remember over here, I wish I could, hold on, let me fix the mirror, I mean open the window some more. Remember how over here was horrible, like this is clearing up. And then, cause you know, when it's that time ladies, I, you know, I don't want to get breakouts and one, just, just one and I was sit, um, I think um, this morning, just one, just one. My face is clearing up. 
slow but it's short <sighs> yeah so that's it i'm done i don't always wear hair i don't always wear makeup and i'm going to wash my face with um that so i went from this to this so yeah so i'm going to do the cleanser first and I use it as instructed. If you guys want me to do a review on this for my Jamaican makeup artist channel, let me know. But I use the cleanser first. Then I'll go in with the treatment. Then the moisturizer. And I realize that if I just use this alone and don't follow up with the other two, just the cleanser, don't follow up with the other two, my face itches like crazy. And it's very dry. And my face looks like it's burnt out. What should I yeah. But yeah, I love how my face looks nice and clear. So that's it. And it's here. I have a little like dark spot here, which I think is cute. I like this dark spot on people. Anyway, how long have I been talking? 11 minutes? 11 minutes. And my energy probably low because I'm more asleep. So I wash my face. I'm glad I said I'm a husband. Yeah. Milo busy. Milo! <gasps> Say to you too. <laughs> Don't just say hi. <laughs> what? 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 Get away! Get away! Get away! What? <laughs> My fat man, I can't stop him now. Hi, right, you guys. Uh, dog drool. In run gun. Alright, bye, guys. Oh, and if you want to know who did my hair, um, her name is Shadi. And on Instagram, she named Day Day Sub K. So on Instagram, it's D A E D A E S U B K. Zin. So, and she does my husband's hair too. Alright, the front part I pull up. But yep. And the style here, them call it bump and grind. All my Jamaicans know. I probably some foreigners know bump and grind or bump and grind men. But yeah, that's it. And I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye, Lyric Uncut. <laughs>